This morning on the road home, we are chatting with Brian O'Malley of the Whitford Art Festival and of course Nairobi Ron and Pete Cardi from Cardi's Furniture and Mattresses are with us. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Morning. Brian, great to have you with us. We will get to you in a moment. I love Wickford Art. I love the Wickford Art Festival, and I can't wait to hear what you have happening. But first of all, here, Ron, let's talk kids' furniture. I know that uh, Cardi's Furniture and Mattresses, you guys have an abundance of options. That's for sure. And the kids' furniture is so much fun, not only for the kids, but of course for the mom and dad, and to make sure that these kids get what they need, and whether it be sleeping properly, which is most important, studying right next to it, and of course, storage to put stuff. So whether it be trundles, bunk beds, twin over twin, full over full, some have stairs, some have built in desks, we of course have the gambit. So whether it be coordinating dresses, chests, computer tables, gaming desks, and all types of finishes. So we can fill the room up, make people comfortable, and make them happy. Totally, and I know cribs as well for the very little ones. You have quite the selection there too. Absolutely, so cribs along with dressing tables and case goods to match, of course. So we have a huge in stock to go collection. So we have cribs in a variety of finishes. Outstanding, you have uh, those growing families covered with whatever it is they may need to make the little ones happy. And Brian, you know, I mentioned how much I love the Wickford Art Festival. I know you guys are always working so hard. What's the latest news with you guys? Well, this year would have been the 60th uh, Wickford Art Festival has been produced uh, by the Wickford Art Association since 1962, but because of COVID, uh, it's the 59th. It's up at Wilson Park, which is just outside of the village. So it's an outdoor setting, obviously safe for people. Uh, they can loop back around if they're interested in art. So uh, a couple things, uh, you know, just to talk about the association, it's a great place to work for. I'm, I'm a new director for the festival and everybody I encounter uh, at the Wickford Art Association is amazing. Um, and, you know, it's the festival itself, we all know the history. You know, it, it's a, Wickford is a beautiful, you know, gem in Rhode Island. And um, we're looking to get uh, upwards of 180 artists. So any artists out there that have been thinking about wanting to apply, please do. Uh, and we'd like to see a few more food trucks too. So I've got some food trucks lined up, but anybody who's interested in it's July 9th and 10th, this summer, um, and uh, we'd love to see some more food trucks as well. So, but uh, it's busy right now, and yeah, so things are happening. Totally, and I love art so much. I've talked about it so many times right here on the Roadshow. It really connects us all, and it's so, art is multifaceted as well, so it serves many purposes, doesn't it? It does. It, in fact, it does. And uh, the festival offers so many different things. So fine art, you know, um, offerings, paintings, sculpture, drawings, and then also fine functional art. So if, you know, people have been going to festivals and fairs the last few years, you see a lot of beautiful fine functional art. So the festival has certainly adapted and uh, the, the work, at the high, it's high quality. The, the slides I've been looking at, the images I've been looking at, as a director, all really good. I mean, so I'm excited, very excited for 2022 and uh, very excited to be up at the park at the outdoor setting and uh, yeah, lots of good things happening. Definitely, I love the passion behind the creativity and it's so wonderful that these folks have a, an outlet for their work. And Pete, I know you and Ron are longtime supporters of the Wickford Art Festival. They just do great work, don't they? They really do, and they won't let Ron and I put in our, you know, number, you know, color by drawing, <laughs> color by numbers. Uh, Ryan's actually uh, also an instructor, a professor at CCRI, does fabulous work with the students, and we tried to sneak into one of his classes, but they kind of threw us out. Uh, but all, all kidding aside, the Whitford Art Festival is a wonderful time. Yeah, obviously in a beautiful area of our state, and it's great that everybody can get out, and the artwork is just fantastic in a wonderful setting. It's a great, great time. It really is, and these, are, these artists really do deserve to have their work displayed, and I know there's so many great art lovers within the community at large here in Rhode Island and Southern New England, so Brian, thanks for all your hard work and giving those artists a place to showcase it all. Yeah, and, and thank you. Thank you for having the association, the festival on uh, the Roadshow, and thank you to Cardi's. Absolutely. Pete, let's work. Pleasure. Pete, we'll work on our stick figures. <laughs> I'm, I, I gotta work on the pad then the pencil we'll see we'll, we'll work on it command z command z <laughs> <laughs> brian will keep you posted thank you for being with us if you would like more information on the wickford art festival and of course the abundance of kids furniture available at cardi's furniture and mattresses we've covered a lot here today but don't worry you can review it all right now at roadshow.com where you can head and click on the road home channel